When SegWit1, what is the current roadmap to introduce Taproot, Schnorr, L2, and other improvements to the Bitcoin protocol? All right, Zoltan, uh, a few clarifications. SegWit1 is the second version of SegWit because programmers start indexing from zero. And so SegWit0 was the original SegWit that was introduced in August of 2017. And SegWit1 is the next uh, iteration of that. The version one uh, introduction of scripts, SegWit scripts, um, actually um, introduces three features, tap root, Schnorr signatures, and tap script. It doesn't contain the necessary opcode changes to implement L2, which is a layer two improvement for the Lightning Network. So when is all of this happening? Um, it's happening um, when it's ready. And uh, the initial review of the Bitcoin improvement proposals, uh, which if I remember correctly are 340, 341, and 342, or some number like that, um, have already been completed. And um, the code is already uh, being tested and continues to be tested and is in review. It hasn't been merged into uh, Bitcoin Core yet. Um, and even after it's merged into Bitcoin Core, um, it will um, not be activated until an activation process is selected. There's still an ongoing debate about how SegWit1 should be activated. And the current consensus seems to be leaning towards a, um, a minor signaling with a flag day style activation, uh, which basically means that miners can signal readiness to activate it sooner. Uh, than a set date, uh, but at a set date, it becomes active. However, that date is likely to be two years out from the introduction of SegWit1 in the code, uh, which means that it could be quite a while before we see the introduction of SegWit1, unless the miners activate it much, much sooner. Um, this is a slow and conservative process, as is all development in Bitcoin. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share. All my work is shared for free, so if you want to support it, join me on Patreon.